Welcome back everyone. Today we're taking a look at a very cool application and believe it or not, this is my Amazon Fire TV stick. So the application that I'm referring to is 100% free. You can get it from your app store. Uh, if you have cameras, uh, IP cameras that's on your network, you should be able to use this app, scan your network, and now you have control of those cameras and not only controls to view them, but if you guys have PTZ cameras, you can go ahead and you can move them around you can see i'm moving that right there you can also move them up and down you can zoom in and out a uh, very cool application I have a couple different view modes on this and i think it works really well so this video we're going to do a quick run through go over the application show you what's included there is a paid version as well however the one that i'm using is 100 percent free and we're going to go into some of the differences here in a little bit so let's go ahead and jump into it So the name of the application is called IP Cam Viewer Free. All you need to do is search for it, you should be able to download it, and you should be good to go. Now I found that this was able to actually pick up all the security cameras that I have in my house that I, I run off my, my Synology NAS that did previously work with NVR. Anything that's on Viv compatible or any simple IP camera, this should work perfectly fine. So let me go ahead and launch the application. I do have six cameras loaded up. Uh, two of the cameras have PTZ functions, uh, which means pan, tilt, and zoom. So you should be able to rotate it, zoom in and out, tilt the camera up and down, and we'll demo that here in a little bit. So I have a couple Couple outside cameras so I can go directly to them and we'll just give it a second for it to buffer you can see it takes a, a couple seconds then the quality comes up the front yard obviously here's the other side here's the inside this is inside the the main uh, living area look like the kids are watching TV and then we have the garage the living room as well as the garage camera now these two cameras do have ptz pan tilt and zoom uh, so if i was to click on this one for instance and let me just go up if i click on that it will bring up the menu and you can see from here i can move the camera around quite a bit i do have some cobwebs there in the garage move it that way i can focus I do have patrol function, but I'm not gonna get into it. If you guys have presets, you can go ahead and set that up. All right, so you can go full screen. All right, you can zoom in and out. All right, so like I said, it has all the basic functions. Uh, if you guys do have little points that you set, see, you can set it to point one, point two, point three, Point four. For me, I really don't have anything set. I think these are just random from the from the application. So it kind of went into like all sorts of different directions. So let me go ahead and we'll move that around a little bit. And we'll just kind of put it back where it was. One thing you'll notice is that up is down and down is up. That's because I have the cameras uh, flip upside down. Let me go back. All right, so that was the garage. I also have the option to take a snapshot. So uh, within that, it tells you where it's gonna go. You can also email it to you and you can enter record mode and we'll get into that a little bit. So if I click okay, you can see the image is saved and it will save the image to that location. So we do have basically two views. So gallery view, which is gonna look like that. And then we have the normal view, which is gonna basically show all the cameras all right, so click on the menu again. It does have a auto sequence mode. And you can see what that does. It basically just go through different views, kind of automatically rotate to the different cameras. And I think that's pretty cool if you have it on the screen or something like that, just to kind of take a quick glance of what's going on in your house. So let me go back and we'll just go back here. So that's some of the main functions right there. There is a paid version of this application. But if you go to the menu, you do have the option to upgrade. If you click on that, kind of tells you what's gonna happen. So remove the ads, get unlimited cameras, audio support for some cameras, and more features like record mode, install paid version in the Amazon App Store for full functionality. So it gives you that option and kind of tells you what's gonna be upgraded. So completely up to you what you wanna do as far as upgrading this application, depend what you're gonna use it for there. They do have a record mode that works with the with the upgraded version where you can record uh, video to your device. So that's completely up to you. Uh, 
really wouldn't recommend it for the fire stick but if you have a hard drive or something like that you might be good to go so to the right you're going to have the audio mode if you click on that it's going to tell you that upgrade to unlock this feature uh, it's going to be the same thing for the microphones so those two options you are going to have to upgrade to kind of um, take advantage of those features so if you hit the menu button on your remote it's going to bring you into your settings so have the option to upgrade you do have view so you have matrix view digital zoom view background audio mode launch camera url all right so under the menus you have more views if you go with views you have two basic functions that works you have matrix and you have the gallery which is going to be part you also have digital zoom view let's go ahead and check that out and you look up top you do have some options to kind of zoom in and out digitally so basically just cropping the image like i said there's a couple options here to take advantage of uh, depending on what you're trying to do but they're pretty straightforward once you get into it now as far as adding your cameras if you go to manage cameras you can see it has all the cameras that i have added um, to my current system and i'll link those in the description just in case you guys are in the market i have a couple 4ks so these lorex cameras are 4ks the amcrest are 1080p but they're the ones with the ptz function so you can zoom around and move the camera around so i'll link those in the description but you have a couple different ways to add cameras guys so if you click on the two up arrows you can import export share cameras import from cloud or export to cloud if you click on the folder icon you have the option to recall group you can save a group delete a group add home screen icon so to the right you have your plus button and you can see it says um, basic light version only supports six cameras so let me just delete one of these cameras and i kind of show you how to add it back and to add a camera if you know the ip address no username and password you should be able to put it in manually but i found the easiest ways to actually just make the application scan your network and you would think that you go here scan camera but you need to go to add on with camera so if you click on that and guys if you don't have it here it will start just scanning your network for your cameras so you can see it's going through right now found all the cameras and the one that i just deleted is this one so to add it you'll click on it you'll click on add and um, each camera is going to have a username and password depending what you picked when you first set it up. So if you haven't chose a default username and password, it might be admin admin or something like that. So I went ahead and put in my password. I'm going to go ahead and test it. All right. So it is going to the IP address showing the port number, image retrieve. And then you can see that a camera has been added. Once you added the camera, guys, go ahead and click save. And this is an extremely groundbreaking, just cool to know that the Fire Stick has a couple tricks up its sleeves. So if you enjoyed this video, smash your thumbs up, drop your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.